In this video, we will see how to create classes in MATLAB. In order to understand how object-oriented programming works in MATLAB, we need to understand the concepts of class and objects. Analogous to the other high-level languages as such in C++, the object-oriented language in MATLAB is made of classes and objects. Analogous to the variables in C++, in MATLAB, we use properties and analogous to the functions in C++, we use methods in MATLAB. Now let's see what are these classes. So basically in classes, we declare properties and to act on those properties, we declare methods. Quite similar to the C++ and other object oriented languages. For example, just right click on the current folder and say new file and a class upon doing this this will prompt you to create a file which is the class template now in this example we can see that this is the class template in matlab so the class def is the keyword to define the class and the class name is vehicle now properties will include the variable names that we need to define for example I say the property, the first property name over here is as child. The second name is manufacturer. The third name is color and the fourth name is CC. For this example, we are not defining any methods. Let's see how this works. In order to create the object of the class or instantiate the class, declare a variable V. For example, I am creating an object V and write the class name in front of this. This would create an object. To see what are the properties of this object, let's just type V. As we see that it has four attributes now. These are nothing but the properties. And it says that vehicle with properties and there are no methods as of now. In order to set these properties, we can use a dot notation. V dot type. I can say car, car is the type. So upon doing this thing, you would see that the field under the object V, the property type would be filled by car. As I say, manufacturer, you can use the tab also because we haven't set any permissions on these properties. We would see that how to set permission on these properties. For example, right now, the properties are public. In order to make this private, we would see how to do that. When you press V dot and then tab, it should prompt manufacturer. For example, I say GM. I can set CC of the car as 1000. And I can set the color of the car as black. So upon doing Upon writing the object of the MATLAB command window, I can see this is the properties of this class. Now, for example, if I would like to modify these properties using some functions, how to do that? For example, if I would want the CC, the property, as to be constant, I do not want any user to modify that. Let's just write property over here and cc as constant when I say constant that I must define the value of this property as you when you hover over the mouse it is going to display the message I say thousand because I have instantiated the object before, I do not need to declare this again. This object is residing in the memory, as you can see from the workspace as well. I just type V, and then we can say, we can understand that vehicle with the properties, type, manufacture, and color, this I could be changing. For example, if I say V dot color, and if I make it red, yeah. I could change the object of this properties. But for example, if I say V is equal to CC is equal to 900, 
it is going to throw an error you cannot set the read only property it is because i have set this property as constant now for example if i want to hide these properties from the user what i can do is just write as the set access in order to set the values of uh, these variables and get access as private Once I do this and I type the object name on the MATLAB command prompt and press enter, you can see that the vehicle with properties only CC over here is present. The rest of the prop properties are hidden from the user. Now let's see uh, how can we define the methods. I have a test file over here which where I have written the methods before. So, uh, for example, let me copy this function here. Remember that for every different types of attributes to the properties or to the methods, you will have to write this method function again. For example, for the simple function over here, I can have as many as functions inside the methods, inside the methods to the model and vehicle and under the method function let me type this now because i would want to set the properties of uh, the variables in the class using this method let me clear the object again or let's say let me do this the properties are the constant so I need to remove this it's just because I am declaring these properties setting the properties using methods Let me write over here as type manufacturer color and CC. Now, this function inside method is a constructor function so what we are doing is that the class name is same as the function name that means it is a constructor and I am assigning the values to these properties over here using the function so whenever I declare an object even though that these properties are not assigned any values will automatically set using the function over here now let me do v is equal to vehicle as you can observe that the values uh, to these properties have been set accordingly. Now there are other types of functions as well, uh, which we call as the set and get function. So uh, for example, in those methods, if I would want to uh, verify a condition, for example, if I would want to assert a value for uh, a property, and uh, uh, if, if I would want to check the value for that property, how do I do that? For example, in this case, let me just declare this function over here and let me comment this out from here for example over here if i declare the object v and right now the value is 1200 for example let me just clear this and i say v is equal to vehicle and uh, the color in the cc property so if i say v is equal to cc is equal to 900 so uh, this is gonna catch it let me change this value to now 1000 and if i do v is equal to dot cc is equal to 900 it is going to throw me an error that a session failed because over here i am checking a condition for the property cc that set the value of this property cc only when this is greater than 1000 so the values of the uh, property we can set it to the function 
we have seen inside the matter methods but we can check for the assertions also so you to do that to set the value of those particular properties uh, we can use the set dot function it is quite analogous to uh, what we are doing over here but uh, this is a proper way of setting the values of properties now uh, there is one another function for example if i would want to uh, see that how many cars are manufactured over here so let me uh, just write one more function and here what i would want to do is i want to display the message that how many number of cars are actually manufactured so i say um, v and the properties check here on so let me write another function over here where i am just printing the number of cars uh, and that number i am uh, passing through the manner function so let me just create a piece go to vehicle and then when i say v dot the method name here is build car and by default the object would be passed and the number is for example seven when i do that it is going to display a message seven cars manufactured so this concludes the basic session with the object oriented programming with matlab